Good evening, agent. It's me again. Well, this time I'm back with another Star Wars video. Previous one was the one where I begged like an old dog. This time it's gonna be more about a theory. Theory in general on how the fuck the agent survives. Because in the first, the first game, we survive, well, a nuclear explosion in space, and then and we just magically appear back on Earth. Second game, we fall to our death, right next to a nuclear bomb that's self-destructing. So the question is, how the hell do we survive that? Well, I think I found something. Well, it's a theory. It's a game theory, but in the new song, play the clip right here. Well, let's see if it's true. I'm less than impressed. I feel better than you. Oh, I've made you before. I can take you apart. I'll reach into your core and I'll rip out your heart. You can obviously hear uh, Dr. Roxana Prism saying that she's built us before. And I think it's indirect, it's a link with that. Seeing that, I assume, we're after an explosion like that, you're gonna be needing, need some patching up. And since she used to work for the agency, lovely, lovely agency, um, she, and probably some technological aspects of the agency, because she built the telekinetic implant, uh, tele telekinetic implant in the in our brain so we can move shit around with our head just like oh, I can not forget anything in there it's just stinky as hell but no I think she probably just patched us up and basically that's what she says I've built you before I can take you apart because she knows how we work because she basically just patches up uh, patched us up the entire time we where she worked for the agency unless of course she already got kicked out before we joined the agency by thinking there's still room for a prequel based on the first game because the first game we just get thrown straight into the agency life nothing really special and now we just got um we just got thrown straight into the agency life. Already big out office. I think it would be cool to just see like the agent in training days, like how he started off becoming an agent. Uh, the people that we worked at Zaraxis, that got uh, the villains before Zaraxis. Over Zaraxis was already a big thing by then. It was quite cool actually. It would be quite a cool game concept. But I'm thinking they're just gonna keep building on to the on to the current premises of uh, just continuing the story and making the backstory of your agent a uh, self-input which I think is why we haven't really got an, um, um, a real explanation on how the agent survived I think that's quite obvious uh, well quite obvious, not really obvious but I think that's what they did so we just get to use our own imagination and put it uh, put into pieces uh, puzzle together, how our agent survived, how he got back down from Earth, how he survived um, a nuclear explosion in the elevator fall. Personally thinking that's uh, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Put in a clip right here. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, that's basically my theory on how the agent survived. Now, I'm probably thinking the agent... Um, that's probably going to be something... Uh, if you look at the soundtrack, the last level, uh, last song, is we need to save her or source layer. So probably going to be in some kind of Zaraxxus base, which then would probably cause us to save... 
uh, Roxana Prism, but then sacrif sacrifice and build a fourth game eventually, or if there's any other D any DLC levels, we're gonna sacrifice ourselves and just be like, haha, we escaped. And oh, uh, she escaped, but we're <coughs> not alive anymore. So that's my theory on how the agents gonna die this game, or be expected to die. Uh, no. And I'm gonna wrap up by the video now that I've made a theory video by just once more introducing the idea of adding, you guessed it, Dance MP3 into the game. I mean, maybe it's, I've put it into consideration and it would be better in a lobby if it had actually uh, vision radio in the lobby because I think it would be a They'd have to, you, the shell games would have to like make it a bit more fitting to put it in a car because go back to your missions. I think it's, that's what he says in the in the audio clip. Um, is what needs yeah. It wouldn't really fit because it's you're in a certain mission, so you get back to your mission or get back to controlling the car or whatever you have to do in that mission. I think is steel kinesium, but that's it. So. This is gonna be the cigar handler logging off. See you, Agent. Agent, while I love your dancing, you do need to continue with your mission. Unless, of course, your mission is to dance. In which case, well, have you tried the Macarena?